Okay, folks, here's a quick run through of three current music generation AI apps. Suno, the Microsoft backed well known uh, music producer, Sonauto, less well known, and brand new, straight off the hot seat, Udio Beta. So, how do they compare? Well, these are the three interfaces, as you can see Suno, fairly plain, Sonauto, slightly more complex but still not not uh, too much information and audio which is quite spectacular in terms of the information it gives you on the on the first page without even being you know part of start starting up so Suno, let how do you start to start it right let's try a uh, um you can choose to add your own um description um, and make it as detailed as you like, uh, adding in um, um, whatever you would enter into a into a chat GPT text box. Basically, you can make it an instrumental um, version. Three is the current version of the uh, of the app, and this is custom mode. So th th this is not the one that allows you to. Uh, if you choose custom mode, you can enter in your own lyrics and your own style and uh, a title. But for this exercise, because we're just not signed in properly, we'll just do that. So you press create, it will immediately create two uh, versions, very short clip versions of the song you requested. So we asked for a blues song about a cat with a slow beat and nice bass. When you get into custom mode, you can add things like verse, chorus and uh, and bridge and solo uh, it's kind of patchy on how it does it but this is what what uh, what happens um, this is the options you get so as you can see the two have come up quite quickly really when you consider this is being hit by quite a few people if we listen to the first iteration of the song let's see what we hear let's see what comes up Bad. Next one. There you go. That was in a, a what? I don't know, Ten seconds or less. And as you can see on here on the right hand side, you get a little graphic of a cat on a rooftop or whatever. And uh, you get uh, your prompt and the lyrics that the, the, the AI has created for us. The second song is, uh, the first song is one minute 10. The second song, if you look down here at the bottom is, uh, well, it actually creates more as it goes along. So you'll see it's actually moving upwards as, it, as it's creating, because it's still creating right now. So 124, that's the strange thing about Suno. It seems to generate on the fly as you're looking at it. I think the first iteration, the first iteration is rarely above one, one minute 30 though. So Son Auto, let's see if we can do a Son Auto song. Um, let's do a test, whoops, and create. Uh, Let's just put that in there. And again, we're not going to click the uh, advanced custom with all the lyrics and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to do the all the rhythm assist and stuff. We're just going to do the basic, um, the basic version. So uh, like we did with uh, with Suno. Press the generate button. Most of these have given you free. Uh, well, all of them give you free, obviously free uh, songs per day. And then your your tokens regenerate the day after and you can keep using it for as long as you like. And then you pay for the premium versions uh, with uh, Suno. You pay to get commercial rights to uh, to the song, um, which you don't have if you don't pay. Uh, with Udio, you don't 
you get the commercial rights from the, from the get-go. But that could be because they're in beta, so I'm not really sure. So here we go. Our two versions. The, the UI is not as nice, obviously. <laughs> you can see it's quite rudimentary on Son Auto. This is what it sounds like. Roaming the alleys at the dead of night Whiskers twitching under the moon so bright He's the king of his domain No man's pet Lives his life with no regret Oh, that bluesy cat With a tail or two Wandering the streets With eyes so true <laughs> Not so sure about the blues. Nice clear <laughs> vocals. We seem to get three versions in this uh, in this app, not two. Roaming the alleys at the dead of night. Whiskers twitching under. Mm, I'm sure. So that's definitely not a blues. <laughs> Roaming the alleys at the dead of night Whiskers twitching under the moon so bright He's the king Yeah, well that's more like you'd find in a cat's musical than in a blues. I mean, if, if you compare it to the Suno, the Suno versions, you see... Yeah, these are real blues. There you go. That's a much better. So let's try Udio and see what you do here. Again, the basic, no frills, no nothing, no custom lyrics as you can do here. If you click on that, you can put your lyrics in there, but I'm not doing that. So we just do an auto generated, um, no manual mode. So they will actually con uh, c interpret this. Udio will interpret this prompt and create what they believe is a better prompt. But let's see what happens. So bear in mind that Udio is, of course, very much in beta. It's launched in the last few days, so it hasn't had the time to bed the servers in. In fact, it was out uh, of commission earlier today because it was being slammed. Apparently, it was being slammed too much by uh, too much traffic. So they, well, they call it maintenance, but we know what it means, don't we? When they go down just after they launched. Soft launch, of course. So already it's taking quite a long time to generate compared to the other two. Apps, but again, I'm prepared to be generous in the fact that this is a very early look at this app. Um, but I'm more interested to see exactly what kind of, of result we get. If it goes on too long, I may have to uh, skip ahead, stop and skip ahead. Okay, I had to stop because in the end it took... Um, I've just put that back in. It took, as you can see, 48 minutes to produce those tracks, which is okay. <laughs> a tad slow, maybe not workable. I think uh, beta is a, uh, it's beta is as beta does, as they say. And I think they're being slammed because they just literally tweeted today and it's gone to Hacker News and all sorts of places. So anyway, the net result is it's slow. Let's hear what it sounds like. I to see my whiskey friend just wrong. Hate to see my whiskered friend just gone. Cause my feline, she left her cozy home. Purring softly like she used to purr for me. I wouldn't even nap. I wouldn't roam around. I wouldn't even nap. Oh, oh my good giddy ass, that's beautiful. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's a whole new ball game. That's That's got depth, it's got everything in it. Um, we'll come back to why that may be in a minute. But yeah, compared to the current owner of the, of the genre. I mean, it's not bad, Suno's not bad. 
All right, let's move on. Look at the other bits that you get for, with each of these applications. So we're now on the create tab. The home tab features stuff like this trending nicely. Uh, they've changed, they've upgraded this since it launched. I've been using Suno for a, uh, a month or two. I actually subscribed, believe it or not. I haven't, I'm not a subscriber anymore though, but not nothing to do with the, um, Udio, by the way, I just, uh, didn't, uh, didn't use enough. Um, but here we go. So yeah, nice, nice choice of, uh, of images and you know, the, the interface is quite nice. You get to see again, the, the prompt plus the lyrics. And you get like, you give likes. So it's nice, you know, and you get nice things like this. You can reuse the prompt for your own, your own uh, use if you want to. This one here, um, uh, you can extend this song add to playlist and report. I'm assuming that anybody can do that. Or maybe it's just the person whose song this is. I don't know. You get 40 credits uh, a day, which you renew each day. Um, and you can like, and it's the community things because it's been going longer than any, anybody else. It has a fairly sophisticated set of, uh, of things around it, which you can do. So the library, uh, as I say, is, is where you would keep your own songs and you can put them into playlists if you want to. Um, with your songs, of course, at the same time, you can actually reuse the prompt, rename, add it to the playlist again. If you want to keep a favorite playlist or upload a playlist, you can download uh, report and delete, of course, and make it public or keep it private, depending on how you, uh, you, you feel about your song. The extension is just to add more information onto the end of the song to make it longer because we only get 30 second clips, basically. So you have to choose the song. And then you can add more lyrics. You can uh, change the style. You can add a, a title. You can continue from a from a particular point in the first uh, iteration. So that makes it easier to get some sort of seamless um, seamless flow through the song. In practice, when I've used it, this bit is quite tricky. Um, it, it, it's quite tricky to get a, a consistent song that you like um, without uh, spending a lot of time doing a lot of uh, of iterations and remixes and all that kind of stuff. It's not as simple as it should be, um, Suno. Uh, and I'm assuming that's just early. This is a, a new aspect of, of just really ex um, browsing the massively, or massively growing library of, of tracks on the Suno app. Um, and here again, you can roll the dice to hear a particular track or you can do your own. There's all different options you get for um, for using the application as you would like to. And of course, you know, the, the other good thing about about Suno is it has a very strong um, community, uh, which are very vocal in places like Discord, you know, swapping notes and sharing prompts and sharing these uh, genre uh, codes, which is uh, not codes, these genre phrases, which are very important in making um making the song unique here's a, a a hoppy german rap funny german rap let's see what that sounds like. oh does it play no okay that's a shame right i don't know what that is um so let's try uh here's the back now with sonoto which is clearly the the poor cousin of <laughs> of the three um Let's listen to one of the, the featured tracks here. Yeah, well, that's uh, the uh, Blue Scooby Doo featuring the AI Beatles. I don't think John Paul George or Ringo will have any sleepless nights over that quite yet. Um, my projects again. This is what uh, um, we create. Your published songs. If I publish anything, I haven't published anything here because really, this is really too rudimentary. It's uh, it needs to go a lot, a lot further before uh, 
uh, it's going to be up to the, the state of the others. So I'm hungry, I could eat a horse. My stomach's growing, it's getting worse. I need some food and I need, I need it fast. I'm going to start and that's not. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> a month ago, this would have been unbelievable. Um, now it's kind of fading into the background, unfortunately, with the addition of the of, of audio, especially. So let's go through here. Uh, the, the start screen is quite frankly magnificent. Um, they've taken Suno and taken it to another level. Um, the the choice you have here: staff picks, trending, uh, the categories, which are you know incredibly important, of course um the hip hop the jazz i mean you you can just select very quickly what you need you know top tracks this week today this month all time and it's just uh, the auditioning is simply a matter of doing this baby on board how i have adored that sign on my car's window pane the bounce in my step loaded with listen to those harmonies <laughs> Oh, golly gosh, those are harmonies are just delicious. Absolutely delicious, I'm telling you. <laughs> you can share the tracks, of course. You can add it to your own playlist. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've only really, of course, it's literally out today. So I've, I've only really started playing with it very shortly. But I'm just blown away by this. You know, as a long, as a fairly long time Suno user, you know, this is way, way, way back. So what the other thing that that that, that uh, Udio has done, which um, Suno and the others have really not um, really focused on too much. If you look at the Suno help, it's kind of rudimentary again. It's 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 not. It, it's it does. It's I suppose the the word would be functional. You know, it's a functional help and a functional fax, um, which again before today was 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 probably okay <laughs> but now you come up against something like like uh this and you get you know the udo um udemy udio uh fac if if you like is is very comprehensive you know it gives you prompting hints it tells you you know uh, about how to use all the modes how to extend tracks it has so much more uh, depth in fact in 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 creating your tracks if you look at this this is how you extend uh, your track your first 30 second clip or whatever to make a to start to build a new uh, a full song and unlike suno where you just hit an extend button and you get something ma randomly tacked on to the end which you can choose to delete or use here you can start to shape your song which is really powerful so you can add an intro before the clip you can add a section before the clip you can add a section after the clip or add an outro right at the end you know and if this works i'm i'm not going to spend another f hour waiting for this to to test this but if this works then this is a um a fundamental um uh, improvement on suno's rather random outro which sometimes were most times uh, uh nine times out of ten i've never got a, a, a i've not had a a suno outro work it just sort of dribbles off into the distance and you have to do some manual editing in audacity audacity or something um so you get a, a lot of control over building a song um and they explain that um in detail here here's a a workflow you know how to build a one and a half minute song so it's a you know start with creating the meat of your track you know the the middle then add an extension then add an intro option in the extension and then click extend then you can add um another extension and then an outro you know you can build your song so much easier when you know that you have these variations even on remixing where suno just gives you a remix button with um with the uh, audio you have the ability to to set the variance you know how how strongly different do you want the song to be when you extend it or do you want it to follow the um the existing so this this page on its own this this amount of information is extremely valuable in getting the best out of the um the whole app to be honest with you uh pricing yes uh you can make up to 1200 a month i think it's 800 now i think they've lowered it <laughs> but these are all the socials 
terms of service again what you'd expect to see um with a, a music creation app uh, the important thing will be, of course, the rights we grant you in the ownership and content. Um, so this is the services. You must be 13 years or older to use this system. I'm not quite sure why, but anyway. Uh, um, safeguarding your account, promotional codes. Uh, you get the rights to use the service, obviously. Um, personal, non-assignable, non-sublicenable, non-transferable, all those kind of legalese um, kind of trash that you get on all these uh, these uh, <laughs> so uh, these terms of service um you can't you know, the restrictions is you can't use bots you can't duplicate or modify or 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 do any proprietary stuff uh, with the service um you don't have the authority to create uh, output by falsely misrepresenting your affiliation with anybody so you can't pretend to be um you know uh bono's uncle and get to produce another YouTube uh, uh, track. Um, um, you can't use bots uh, um, to game the system, or I don't see how you do that if it takes an hour. Please do not introduce any viruses, Trojan horses, or worms. That's pretty basic. Um, and then we come down to the ownership content, which is most people are going to be interested in. Um, so the 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 con the ownership of the service obviously is owned by Udio. Um, trademarks owned by Udio, but your content you are able to post, upload, submit content owned and controlled by you. Um, and as between you company and you, the company does not claim any ownership in your content, in, including any output generated by you in response to the submission of your prompt. That is basically. Um, so that's very good to know. Um, it doesn't even specify whether you're doing it on for, whether you own it for free or whether you um, have to pay. I don't because we're in beta and there's no um, uh, financial um, penalty for users. It's it's obviously just you can use it for commercial purposes no matter what. By the looks of this, um, you may use your output for both personal and commercial purposes, and we permit you to download a copy of your output that consists of an audio file. Suno is different in that you cannot use the tracks commercially unless you pay for a subscription the nine dollars a month for the subscription um you can create as many tracks as you like but they don't belong to you uh you know totally they the, you can't just go and sell them or put them on spotify and make money and stuff like that so that's an intro at the moment that's an interesting difference between udio and suno in that it seems like you can use any tracks right now <laughs> if you can get any produced <laughs> in less than a day. Um, you can use any tracks you like for any commercial operations, which is uh, nice. Um, again, the, the the rest of these is talking about using your content. The, the Udio reserves the right to use your content for promotion and marketing and that kind of stuff, as you'd expect. Um, and this, uh, this talks about owning comments um, and um the fact that you can't really uh stop the the company using the comments as part of their service um the attribution clause is quite interesting if you exploit or make use of uh, any public use of the output um or, or any content then they require you to agree to include a credit notice or other indicator in connection with such use um, that's again, I think it's similar to, um, the increasing requirement from Google and, and others to say when you've used AI, so you don't try and, um, befool people and tell them that you're, you're a genius composer, um, when you're actually just using a very, very sophisticated, uh, song generator like audio to do this. Um, and so you, uh, have to credit audio in what you, in the way you're doing it you can put that in the track title in the credit section etc wherever you think it's um it's it's going to be seen or whether they wherever they think it's it's going to be seen dcma is is quite standard as how they're handling the data i.e your account information and all that kind of stuff the the that's required to be safely stored so it's the, your privacy is maintained and you um you acknowledge that uh, the company is not responsible for any third party content that's used in the service um, and they don't warrant or endorse uh, um, any liability 
to you or any other person for any third party services. Usual disclaimers, all pretty standard, you know, disclaim all warranties, express or implied, fit for fitness or purpose or non-infringement. Well, you know, that's everywhere. <laughs> you know, they're not going to be, you're not going to be able to sue them if you don't like the song or somebody sues you for says that the song looks, sounds exactly like a Chuck Berry song or something like that. That's, that's not their problem. Um, that's one that's going to, that, that would no doubt be tested in the fullness of time as songs get more and more sophisticated and they turn out to be so much more similar to um, songs that have uh, been created by artists in the past. Uh, and the rest of it is, is boilerplate, you know, uh, class actions and, and where the where all the the legal cases get <clears throat> get legislated and stuff like that. So that's uh, Udio. Uh, as I say, it is unique in that aspect that it has uh, a full blown, um, if you like, set of 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 structure, uh, which is what a, a good app should have and it's kind of surprising that, that that Suno doesn't really have any of that despite the fact it's been operating much longer <laughs> in AI terms than uh, than anything else you know and it's backed by Microsoft so uh, it's a little surprising to find that the uh, the old the old the old system hasn't kept up or hasn't managed to to be as sophisticated but there you go that's a, a very quick run through um my first impression, Udio has really changed everything. I know in AI, everybody talks about changing the game and uh, da, 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 you know, but this actually um, could be a uh, a mid journey, uh, you know, or stable diffusion moment in music generation. Um, it's still a little bit dodgy. I've tried it, when I tried it earlier this, uh, this today. It's a little bit dodgy in its its um, interpretation of categories and genres. Uh, you know, I asked for a reggae track, and it wasn't anything but reggae. It sounded more like a show tune. Um, and I've I asked it for uh, various other uh, a couple of other um, genres, and it just couldn't cope at all. So I think at the moment, you, you know, until the the algorithm starts to 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 become more uh, trained you have to be quite specific about you know we asked for a blues song and we got a great blues song but that's quite a a, a standard default generic um well probably one of the most generic um pop or, or, or sort of popular music genres but i think once you start it's going to take a while for the algorithm to to understand various different genres you know some of the slightly more esoteric ones but apart from that wow what an entry yeah now all you got to do is get your songs done in in less than <laughs> less than an hour and it'll be fine let me see i'll do a quick test see if it, they've upped the servers oh error there you go so yeah they're having a lot of problems they're they're, they're really being slammed okay so <laughs> that's beautiful let's keep a track of that one thanks very much for listening um, i'll try and bring more stuff uh ai stuff here uh, um, especially music as we go along